crispy. It is crispy. Yeah. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, this is a right. long time coming, man. This was a long time coming, it yeah. It is, yeah, it is. This, is. this was a very long time coming. I I think it was a, always a dream of mine to fully actually do my own, but it just never really came to life till recently. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. This room took a long time to finish, but now that it's done, it's, it's I'm, I feel like I'm lit, I'm lit again. Yeah. Like my, my flame has been lit. You're there. Yeah. You got the extra spark now just to go for it. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Is this, because last time I was in here. Oh, also with these mics, you got to like, I gotta, gotta you got to make sure, into, yeah, right? you got to be pretty okay. close. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Last time I was here, we were going this way, weren't we? Like, yes, because we used to have a Pure Bliss podcast. Yeah. And it was right there. Uh, yeah, and it was a table. And that was that was okay. We'd done like ten to fifteen episodes or something and it was it was okay, but it was limited to business and like um work related. Yeah, to topics only. And so it was just kinda got stale after a while and it was just like hard to like keep going, I found. So it's hard to get topics, man. I mean like Yeah. We're, we're, so, yeah. You go on social media now and it's like if it's not trending right there and then. Yeah. You're not going to get the views unless you already have the viewers. Yeah, exactly. But. With this one, um, I decided to, instead of just limiting it to, uh, you know, one topic or a couple of, like a certain niche, I said, no, I'm not doing that. Like I'm basing it off, like, you know, like look at Joe Rogan or like impulsive or, or full send podcast. Like they just have guests on and have like dandy conversations. Like, you know, with like minded people. Yeah. I mean, we do this all the time anyway at the gym. Exactly. <laughs> literally so, so it's just like i don't know it's just way better to just not limit it and just talk about whatever's going on in your life or, or in in life in general at the time yeah and just have a lot of different guests on and and make it more interesting to see everyone's perspective and you know outlook on everything and hear their little gold nuggets of knowledge that that's they, right you know so if i could be mic'd up 24 7 you'd uh imagine the conversations we can get if we were mic'd up 24 7 i know seriously like yeah, like imagine just running, but the world is coming that way. Yes, man. Like there's some really interesting stuff going on. Yeah. Um, I think we'll, we're going to get to a point soon enough where talking to someone like what we're doing right here is going to be like a next level thing when it comes to AI and stuff. Oh my I'm God. Not, I don't want to get too much That's AI, a different topic that's altogether. Like, but like there's stuff that's happening now with like chips and stuff like computer chips man that are like it's pretty wild like we're gonna get to the point soon enough that like everything we're talking everything we're saying <clears throat> it might be already happening now or recordings but like a lot of our conversations are not are not going to be as private as what we think they are not at no it's, it's true it's scary yeah i don't know if you've uh looked up or follow much on ai but if you have it's it's pretty scary well like it is what it is it's where we're going but i don't think the mass population understands what's happening they're not ready for behind it. the scenes like it's it's messed up one quick one sec right quick i gotta do this <laughs> by the way I, we didn't even do an intro so no, this you, is yes. <laughs> we just sat down and started talking. Down, started talking that's how we normally do yeah that's good <laughs> but anyways this is my good buddy jeff hines um he has a company nl division x all kinds of uh sports media video yep. photography and you name it um so with that i'm just gonna say he brought this hat for me representing nice hat sick hat and he also brought me this rain energy drink which is uh i'm excited to try because i heard good things you haven't tried it no you haven't had one yet no oh man they're dope. so let's just do a little bit of asmr here <laughs> you want to do it too oh. it's, gonna sound deadly. <laughs> it's gonna be wicked <laughs> It's like music to my ears. That is. Mmm. They're good, eh? Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Funny, but um, yeah. Have you uh, have you watched much on AI? Oh, um, before say okay, getting ahead of ourselves again. Do a little. Uh, give us give us a little introduction. All right. What you do and how long you've been doing it? Where you came from? I can get the burps now. That's all right. Let her go. Uh, where am I? From? Okay, so uh, Jeff Hines. I'm from Conception Bay, South Newfoundland. Uh, I'm 34 years old. I grew up in CBS. I uh, went to school at Holy Spirit. Graduated in 2007. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 
getting there, Johnny. Getting yeah, we're there. getting there. Um, yeah, I started co- working as a uh, photography, doing like photography and videography when I was really young. Yeah. Not working it. I just picked up a camera when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. I've always been fascinated with cameras. Don't know why. I always like filming. Even when I was like young with my grandfather's camcorder. Yeah. Uh, so when I was 14, I started NL Vision X. And sorry, when I was 14, I started photography, picked up a camera, started at it. And Elevision X, I started when I was 17. But a lot has happened in between there. I mean, we're going 17, 17 years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So, like, right out of high school, though, I went and did instrumentation and controls technology. And uh, I worked at that for a good couple of years. I didn't really, I wasn't fond of it. No. I worked well in gas, and then I was like, no, that's not for me. But I also want to be my own boss. Like, yeah. I do. I did, but I didn't. I find that when you own your own company, it's a lot of responsibility. It's one of those things where when you don't, it feels like it'd be like the answer to all your problems. But when you get it, you're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's more work than I thought. Yeah, like getting going is like exciting and like bopping. Like NL Division X, I started when I was 17. But I never really like went into that like all in. full in until I was like 32. 30, well, only a couple of years it ago. It was a side hobble. Yeah, it was a side hobble, but it wasn't because I was doing so much. Yeah. Um, and I enjoyed it. I loved hanging around with the kids, <laughs> loved shooting hockey. Uh, I followed my nephew growing up playing hockey, going up through. So like, I really enjoyed sh- watching them play hockey. Yeah. So watching them play sports just gave me another reason to get to the rink. And then all of a sudden, I'm shooting almost over... 2,000 kids a year in hockey alone this year, last year. Yeah. Uh, cover six bodybuilding shows this year, including actually seven if you include the Toronto Pro Show. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I wear Crocs. I rock Crocs. <laughs> He's a Crocker. I love my, I even got a Crocs tattoo, actually. Yeah, I, yeah, he should be sponsored by Crocs. I don't know how he's not, honestly. I'm he's waiting like for it. But I'm pu- waiting for pushing it. it on everyone, too, right? It's coming. It's coming sometime. I mean, did you ever reach out? They're not like they're probably huge. not aware of your. They're I think they're aware of my crops obsession. My Are crocs they? obsession? Yeah, I don't know though, because like I'm all over social media with it. Um, I've never gotten any like engagement back from on social media. Yeah. I have reached out to them <clears throat> on their email, yeah, other ways, but they're just they're they're such a huge American. America's ahead of us no matter what. Yes, like no matter what we do. America's already done it. Yes, man. Yeah. U.S. has already done it. Yeah. So, like, Crocs, you, the Crocs in the States, they have affiliates that they actually work with. Yeah. So, these people get sponsored and get their Crocs for free and, like, coupons, I guess, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Canada has nothing to do with that right now. No? Not on that level. But, no, I hope that Crocs will bring in, like, a Canadian affiliate program. But, I mean... It's again, it all comes down to advertising. Yeah. Because there's certain things you can't do in Canada. It's like TikTok. I don't think you can make money off TikTok in Canada. Oh, yeah, you can. Or, but uh, I don't know a lot about it. But like, we, I've, I used to, we used to have a, uh, what do you call it here? Like a influencer. Yeah. And she was pretty big in TikTok. Um, they do make money, but it's like, it's not as big as like YouTube. Like if you have like five million like followers, like you're not making. Yeah, that much I, I know, I know. As, yeah, I understand that when like the following and like, yeah, uh, if you don't have, it's not like it's not like YouTube. Like five million subs on YouTube versus TikTok is not even close. Nothing, but because uh, it's easier to grow on TikTok. Exactly. But uh, you get a lot of brand deals, I think. Yeah, and that's where like, I guess it's kind of like, I got to I got to figure out that aspect of it. And like that's why I'm in. T- I'm getting into TikTok a little bit lately. Yeah, I hear that Instagram is uh, dying off, but that's my main platform. Instagram. Yeah, like I don't know if it'll ever fully die though. I mean, I'm, like I'm the younger sure. generation now. Yeah, apparently maybe. are coming up through saying that it's uh, it's an older like p- older people are using. It. I'm like I'm 34. I'm not old. That's actually so funny. But then we got Threads too. I didn't even open that up yet. It's like Facebook. Yeah, I of never Twitter. even got it. Never bought it. Never it's just got too it much to keep up. And on. I can't even. Ha- I can't. I don't know what to do with Twitter. Well, it's not even called Twitter anymore. It's, it's called X. X yeah, Elon Musk know. is wild. Um, yeah, I didn't ever really get into Twitter either. It's just really just Facebook, Instagram. Twitter's huge for me. 
Is it? Yeah. Or oh, X. X is huge for me. But it's because of sports. Yes. All the sports teams, this is where they're putting their info. They're yeah. putting all their schedules, um, any updates on teams. It goes to Twitter. I just find that Twitter is not user friendly. No, I don't think it is. Like for, for someone, the no, it's not. Like no. if you want to follow a thread on Twitter, man, you got to do some looking sometimes. Yeah, it's not as easy. It's I not as easy it for, for <clears throat> most people. Yeah, that's why I like Instagram because like Instagram, it's, it's just that post. Oh my god, it's easy. You cannot go off the track on Instagram. No, it's there. It's either on a reel or a video or a photo. It's it's always going to be somewhere to comment that you're going to be able to find it. Yeah. Now, like Facebook. Facebook, big, Facebook is probably like it's it's huge. Yeah, Facebook is huge. I yeah. mean, if people really paid attention to like stock market and like, I shouldn't say stock market. If people really paid attention to like the users on Facebook and where your engagement on Facebook, it's huge. It's it massive. It's huge, and it's it's funny because it seems like anyone could have thought of Facebook. Like it's not like a a crazy invention like a light bulb or something like no it's literally a it's a it's a website to post your pictures and but we're saying that now i know but because yeah i know because it already we exists. also grew up in high school when it was just coming out yeah i suppose facebook yeah. never came out for great till grade 12 for us i think i can't remember now exactly what it was are you 89 or 90 90 yeah so it came out in grade 11 for you yeah so yeah. like 2007 i think was the year facebook got launched okay yeah like officially launched because before that it was just like MySpace and like MSN, ICQ, MSN, dude. MSN Remember that? Messenger. That was oh. solid, dude. I love those days. Oh my god, that was. I rem I reminisce about those days a lot. Yeah, the old CDs. Remember the old CD? Like oh yeah, like you, burned yeah, CDs. Well, I, but I mean like you and the boys, like <laughs> you're going out and you're burn a CD for the night in, in the car. Oh, yeah. Throw it in the car. It's like who the hell is going to do that now? Oh, no one. Is you don't even see DVDs no more. No, no. We're gone in such a digital world now. It's just too much. Yeah, it's those days were, were fun, honestly. Like, you know, it'll never come back, but. They were fun, but they were our fun. Yeah. Well, I guess we didn't know any better either, right? That, there was nothing else. the other thing, you know, what what exists now didn't exist, right? But um, I have a also, hard time grasping that, though. Oh, yeah. But that's the future. I know. It's constantly evolving. You have to adapt. Constantly getting better. But I used to like also like those Apple. Um, just iPods, little MP3. Yeah. Oh, like the tiny yeah. shuffles. No, I used to have the solid fucking like one of the first. Oh, the oh with yeah. With a circle on it, like <laughs> it was like it was like a little like rectangle, but yeah. it was solid, man. I had I had that filled with music, man. That was like my party. I took that every party I went to. They were they were big back in the day, man. They yeah. were huge. They were like, uh, I remember working at a Future Shop in like 2007, 2008, and it was like, what a time, man. They were the they thing. were flying off the shelf, and yeah. you couldn't get them. Now, now, there's a goddamn new iPhone coming out every six months. Every, well, once a year. <laughs> once a year, but then they do so many updates, man, in between. It's like every yeah. six months. I mean, like, yeah. the I O the iOS is what you really look at. Yeah, it's always The upgrading. hardware is one thing. The software is what upgrades so quickly. Yeah. And crazy. hardware now is, can't even keep up with it. No, it's nuts. I mean, there's so many, that's a total different, like, world, though, man, like, when it comes to... Uh, Everything now is fast paced. Yeah. Everything is. But just imagine where we're going to be with phone technology slash cameras in the phone in like 10 years. I'm scared for it. It's mental. I'm scared like for it. Like the camera on this phone now is like you don't like the average person certainly don't need to buy a professional camera. No. Like for good pictures. No. Like it, it, not even for video. Like, you know what I mean? Like unless you're really going at it, you don't need it. Like, you know what I mean? Like you could easily launch a YouTube channel and like only use your phone right now. There's people that do it every day. Yeah. Every day. It's, it's crazy. Like, I know some big influencers around here. Like they're big to us. Yeah. That use their iPhones. Yeah. I mean, it's for content. What is good. On a very uh, wide basis. But. The other side of that too is it makes it widely available to everybody, yeah. and that's another problem. Yeah, because then everybody thinks they can do it. Yeah, there's more to it than that than just pressing record. I think anybody but, can do whatever they want to do in life. Yeah. In life, but you got to put the work in. It, it's got to yeah, you got to put the work in, and it's not going to come tomorrow. No, it, you got to be patient. Patience. I don't have much patience, but it does <laughs> give everyone the option to start. It does. Without having to, like, oh, I got to save up. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune. Because everyone got a, a smartphone. 
Hundred percent, and even the androids. I don't know. I don't like androids. It's not for me. But whatever. If you I tried one recently. Yeah, like some people love them. Whatever. I'm just I'm an Apple. I'm. I've something. always been Apple. I just so, find it's. Uh, everything I have is Apple. Like it just just makes sense. Like I just don't. Everything want, comes together. Yeah. Just, yeah. Right. Get your iPad, MacBook. Are you editing on a Mac now? Yes, man. Ugh. I know, which is hilarious to you, but dude, I just so I can't go to Windows, man. I can't. I know. Like, I probably could, but like. What are you editing now with though? But I do have. Um, a really good Mac. I got. No, are you like a Premiere or? I'm using Premiere. Yeah. But someone told me to use DaVinci. DaVinci, yeah. Because apparently it's really good for color grading and stuff. But I haven't dived into it yet. What are you using? See, here's the thing, like color grading. Let's talk on that for a second. I think people put too much into it now, because when it comes to color grading, look at the screens. We're looking at two cameras, right? Three cameras. Well, two cameras, yeah. three cameras that have all different screens right now, because they're all different generations, probably. My iPhone is an iPhone 12. Your iPhone 14 has got a different screen. The retina in that, or the, the display on that, is totally different. Oh, yeah. So the true color that we're getting is not true color anymore, man. It's like when I color correct my screen at home. I do it once every two or three months. Yep. I got three screens. I color correct them all the same. I will export a photo, and it will look totally different on an iPhone than it will on an Android. It will also look totally different on that screen to that screen to that screen. Unless they're... Com- like, no, I totally literally. Yeah. So, like, color grading. Like, people are taking it too far now. Well, people do put a lot of work into it. But I guess it really, like you said, it only really matters if, if you really have a high-quality screen. And, you know, the, but even similar like, to the one that you edited on. Exactly. But even a high color, high color, high quality screen now, like um, you can get a, you know, really good screens now for pretty decent prices, like two or three hundred bucks. Those screens there, whether we like it or not, are going to be different from brand to brand. Yeah. Yeah. So this whole color grading thing that people are really getting like caught up in, it looks great on Instagram. Don't get me wrong. It looks awesome. The second you throw it on YouTube and you throw it like that, it's look at there, people are looking at all these different screens. I just don't see why we put so much time into it no more. And like I'm, I'm seeing a lot of photographers now and videographers spend a lot of time in color grading. I'm just sitting there like I take the shot to give. So if it's right in my camera already, why am I going to screw around with it? So to touch on that a little bit, I don't know if you're familiar with... Um like S log and I am yeah okay well really color grading like for me like I don't mess with S log or anything like that because I don't feel like I really need to like right now I just have this set up yeah I record it as is and then I'll make some adjustments in Premiere but nothing crazy but when you do S log the image is very flat yes. and like colorless so I have C log yeah C log yeah. S log so it's the same thing yes so but it. Um, you can get more dynamic range with the uh, log uh, f- formats, and then because um, when you throw your lots in there, it looks like, it looks sick. Yes. So you have more dynamic range. So you have, and you know what dynamic range is, right? Yep. Okay. So basically, yeah, you can capture more light and dark in the area. So for something like this, it's kind of pointless because it's really just for like on days that you're recording outside and it's super bright. Yeah. Because it's hard to set the camera with the right settings, like when it comes to like aperture and ISO, yep. and shutter speed to m- make the image look good in a dark area and a bright area in the same time. Okay. So then I guess log you know, would, would, be, would capture, would more, capture data, more data and then you edit it in, in uh, Premiere or whatever you're using and then you make it look right again. But because without log, you, you don't have as much data, say. No. Nope. So that's the whole purpose of it, really. But I just find that people are like really con- I don't. It's different though because I'm using photos a lot. Like, yeah. I'm not shoot. I'm shooting a lot of video. I'm not editing yeah, it though. Yeah. Yeah, edit, exactly. So you don't even know. Myself, yeah. So I barely see it. Yeah. And then I shoot in C log goes to one editor because another another editor wants it in in standard. Yeah. So like, to me, like going back to like DaVinci and Adobe, I've used both. I find DaVinci is more user friendly. The color grading on DaVinci is used. I've never used it because I don't need to. I don't. I don't actually physically yeah, use yeah, that. Yeah. But color grading on da vinci is i'm told it's easier uh but it all comes down to what you're doing what you ha- what you want to create what you're shooting like i find what for me is. barely any presets work for hardly any of my photos yeah presets uh, presets don't work for anything really because 
it only works on an image that it works on. Like, it's not going to work on every image. It depends how the, how the image was taken. Exactly. Like, does it too bright? Is it too dark? Yeah. Like, is it perfect? Like, I find that presets now. Like, like you see all these ones on like Instagram and Facebook. Like preset packs for sale. Yeah, but it doesn't work on everything. But it looks amazing in the videos of what they're right? I'm just like, what a sh- What a scam! Oh, though. but like, they sell a fortune. A lot of people are going to Vinci now. Yeah, I was a actually lot. talking to Robin Hillier about it. Yeah. Briefly, and he he said uh, Da Vinci is a lot better. Well, is this that? If you're used to Premiere, Premiere is deadly. I'm used to Adobe, so like Adobe just flows with me. It's such it's such an easy. But if you're not used to it, you you obviously should start with Da Vinci. I I think personally. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Like, it's like Apple and Android. So like when I first started, I had a choice. Like, do I do I go learn, Apple? Do I learn yeah. Adobe or do I learn? Um, What's the Apple version editing? Um, what, oh, um, you know, the Apple version of it. Oh my God, they got a video editing program. Apple does. Do they? Oh, iMovie. No, it's another one. Um, I'm just going brain dead right now. I can't even think about. I can't it. think what that one is. I know what you're talking about though. It's but anyways, not... it's yeah. So I didn't. It's like three hundred dollar program. It's a one time payment, but it's oh, not a monthly payment. Oh, okay. But in the beginning, I was just done some research and what I came to the conclusion that maybe I'll just do Adobe because like I'm going to have to get Photoshop and my all do- the other programs. My Adobe like the- is like 20 bucks a month. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, actually, I think mine is like 30, but it's gone up. But you got to get the Black Friday sale every Black Friday. I got student plan still. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still a student at mine, so mm. I'm, I'm still doing my master's in business. So I'm just kind of like, all right. Just taking your time. Take my time. Keep my student code. Yeah. I got my student ID. That's all you need. Yeah. All you need is an email. Yeah. It's like my Apple Music. I still pay $4.99, 5 99 for that a month. Five ninety nine. <laughs> I think it's like that. That's so cheap, man. I use YouTube, though, for music now. Do you? Yeah, you can actually get YouTube Music on your phone. Is it free? Yeah, like, uh, no, well. You pay is, for premium, do you? Yeah, I pay for premium anyway. So no ads? No ads. How much is that? I think it's like ten ninety nine or like twelve ninety nine a month. That's not bad. But like what I pay for that, I can just get rid of everything else. Like I don't need music, shop or Spotify, Apple Music or Spotify. Uh, I just use YouTube, YouTube Music. I don't need any rest of them. Now, I still keep my Apple Music one because it's iTunes because I have everything on there. I was just going to say, again, I'm so used to Apple Music. But now. it's only four ninety nine a month or five ninety nine a month, so it's not too bad. Yeah. But like Spotify is expensive. Yeah, I don't pay for Spotify. I just got the Apple One thing. It's like the that's everything. Thir- one, Thirty nine dollars a month for fucking like a bunch of shit. Does that include your cloud storage? Yeah, I think so. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. I don't think we, we. I think we got the two terabytes for like thirteen ninety nine a month. Yeah, I pay a lot for storage. You got like four terabytes, yeah. I got cloud, like Apple iCloud, and I also have Dropbox. <laughs> oh, overall, for have, different. Yeah. Drive, Google Drive, and they're all like top tier ones. Yeah, but so I need my, it though. So my question to you on that is, the monthly payments is what gets me. So it's like, why do you pay for all this cloud storage when you could just buy physical hard drives and then like own them? I get you, um, but I understand the convenience of that. So for me, like I'm building a, I don't know what it's exactly called. I'm not building it. Someone the guys is building it for me. It's a RAD system. So it'll be able to have all the hard drives, redundant drives built in. Backup drives. Backup right? drives. Yes. But then that has to go onto the server online. So it's in the cloud then. Yeah. Which is also hilarious. In the cloud, right? Like, What I, is the cloud? I don't, <laughs> is this the cloud? No, it's just funny because like, nobody knows what the cloud is. But like, really what the cloud is, is a fucking it's a hard, drive hard drive firm, firm. somewhere <laughs> in the world. But somehow I put something on the cloud from here in my phone or computer and it somehow ends up on a hard drive down in Texas somewhere. Isn't that wild? It is, but this is going back to like why shit's this, why shit's scary because it's only going to take one like power outage that area to just pfft. How safe is that really? I don't know. But to be to be fair, I haven't heard or seen or read anything ever happening to anything on the cloud ever i have that's it's funny you say that because I, I have never ever heard of anything either. So, i've heard of like files disappearing from like accidentally deleting or something like that but like nothing that was like a massive catastrophic like oh shit 
Mm. You know, like, because everyone uses it. Everyone. Let's be realistic. Can you imagine, like, how many, like... I can't. Oh, my God. It must be, like... I can't. I just can't. I can't. Like, holy... I did and imagine a, the electricity that it takes to run these buildings. And, like, they must have backup generators and shit, too. Like, yeah, we're worried about... Uh, we're worried about the carbon footprint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If a Ford truck we're driving now. You still got a Ford? Yeah, yeah. I got it back. Did yeah. you get one back? I got one back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I... Um, well, I had to sell it to get the house, and then we 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 went one year with one vehicle, and uh, anyway, I got the truck. Yeah, a got it all ago. managed out to get. Yeah, yeah. So. The truck is great to have, man, but it's a it's an expense. It's an expense, but the thing is that kills me is I had a re- like a great payment on it, Same but I knew that I wasn't going to get it's horrible. it. Horrible. But now it's like how much more? I don't know, one hundred fifty dollars, probably biweekly more than what all was. because the bank wants all to because prove inflation. Uh, we need to stop people from spending money. We need to, right? And, and we're going to fix inflation slash line our pockets in the process. I tried to get a commercial building recently and uh, never tried. I am getting one, I should say, soon. Yeah. And it's like 8% interest, right? Yeah, no, like that's, that's actually disgusting. still good at the, like, at the given, like, you know, because usually like it's prime plus like whatever. So, like I think line of credits uh, interest right now is like twelve, thirteen percent, something ridiculous. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's just crazy. That's disgusting. Because it's based on prime, the prime exactly. rate plus whatever, yeah. right? It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine that though? Now, there's a lot of people in hard spots right now. Oh, it's not good. I don't. Uh, I don't want to get into politics and that kind of stuff. No, no. It's, it's, it's I don't all, even care. Listen, I don't all, follow oh, yeah. politics. But it's all. all it's all craziness. What's going on? Like our taxes right now are destroying us if you truly looked at where your money goes oh dude and especially business taxes and everything else like it's it's truly well it's like the carbon tax yeah i mean are we really gonna continue to say that the cars and pollution of like carbon automobiles and stuff is the cause of world pollution furthermore what is me giving you a tax on that going to do to stop? Well, exactly. No, there's no cure for it. Doesn't there's do no, there's no like, oh, okay, we're going to create a bubble and put it around the world so that we don't know. It just does, you literally are taking money because you can't. Oh, it's mental. Yeah. Everyone, I think everyone's view on that is the same because it doesn't even make sense. Like, it's it's gross, and I just I don't know how we get out of it now though. Like, well, we don't. Like, we just the thing is that's the thing. Like, we don't. Like we we just, don't get to make those decisions. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why we do this and they do that. Yeah, that's why like I don't even get too caught up into it. But it's funny because some people like gets mad at me, like if or like like they thinks it's mental the fact that I don't vote. Okay, and, you don't well, vote? No. What? Yeah. See, <laughs> you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, dude. <laughs> but it's just like I'm like, dude. Okay, fair enough. Like you vote, that's fine. I don't care. Everyone got their own life, but for me, I, and maybe it's right. This is just my opinion, and maybe I feel like you're on the same page, but I'm not going spending time following politics or giving my vote on something that I don't fully think that my vote is going to have much of a difference. Now, I do realize that if everyone thought like that, then no one would vote yeah. and we'd be fucked. But me personally, instead of wasting, I look at it as well, what can I control around me? What's in my control? Okay, so what what can I do that directly affects my life to move forward? I'm not going to spend time on so, that stuff, okay? I'm going to spend stuff spend time on stuff around me and what I can control and what I can do that I know it's going to help me better my life yeah. directly. Yeah. The rest of it, I'm just like, well, it is what it is. I'll just roll with the punches. That's just my outlook. I get you. And like, I'm sure there's other people like that too. I just, I, the voting thing for me is like, I do it, I vote. Yeah, like um, best kind of you do. But it's more or less like if I can get down there. I'm yeah, not, like I'm not going down there. Personally, I think all politics lately are just out to lunch. Uh, I think that what the way we're seeing governments just get handed over and bullshit just get passed on and passed on and blame game, blame game. It's a it's a popularity contest at the end of the day. Yeah, it's who's more popular. Yeah, because if we really looked at the truth on what they're trying to do. Not many of these people have ever accomplished is what they set out to do. No. And what they told us they were going to do. No. Not many. And if they did, it was small scale. Nothing large. Yeah, why? If anybody wants to sit here and say, like, you know, this uh, 
Trudeau or Trump or whoever did this massive thing for the country in every way, I don't make him like we 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 uh, legalized. That was great. That was great. And I don't it, think it's great now. I think it's stupid now. I truly do. Do you? Oh man. Why? So let's talk about it. Whew. What are your thoughts? You want to get into that one? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like we have too much to talk about for one episode. We can sit here for like six hours. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, mine and John's episode was like two hours or one hour and 40 or something. And we only cut it short because we had an interview. Same type thing, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try to limit I find that. Okay, weed. <laughs> we almost got sidetracked again. Let's talk about that for a second. But see, the taxes that it generates is definitely a big help. But yeah, tell me your thoughts. What, what, what is it? Why, why do you? So I never smoked weed until I was 21. First time I ever smoked marijuana, I was 21. And uh, when I smoked it, I was like three months at it, and I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Give it up. I continued drinking, though. And I continued drinking. I just always drank. Yeah. You want to know why? It was always there. It was available. It's available. And now I feel as if, like, marijuana, it's fine for, like, I smoke weed now. Yeah. I enjoy my draw uh, here and there. Yeah, air. you're back on now? Yeah, I, sm- oh, okay. I, I quit for, I, yeah. I, I so I... I started smoking dope, like again, like when it became legal. Yeah, like no, but I think the last time I spoke, yeah, you so, had a little break. Yeah, I took yeah. a break. I took like a six month yeah. break because I just I was starting new medication for my ADHD and I yeah just wanted just to, couldn't get it straight. I yeah. couldn't get my head straight. Yeah, so I took a, took a six month hiatus. Yeah, but now when I started smoking again. Uh, it's great. I can. I'm. I'm fine. I'm also 34 years old and have a stable job. Yeah. I can also smoke a joint and, you know, watch a movie or still do stuff. Still do stuff. A majority of people that we're seeing smoking a lot of dope now, they're literally getting so sidetracked with life they don't even know where they're going. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. I see a lot of it because I see a lot of youth. Yeah, you see more it's of that. It's not. It's not the thirty or forty year olds yeah. that are truly at it. It's like it's so accessible now to like a sixteen year old kid to go to any corner store around the block here because weed stores everywhere. <clears throat> yeah, fake ID with a fake ID or ask someone else to go get it, like alcohol. Yeah, but see now, in the defense of that, I'm thinking. I guess it depends, like where you grew up and your circle of friends, but like. I like weed was always easy to get, anyways. And it is for any. It was like so, like. You but know it was I mean? legal. It was illegal to get. Yeah, so I guess your point is some people would probably be like a little bit less inclined to try it, even. Yeah. But now that it's legal, I'll try. It. Yeah, like yeah. I feel as if a lot of youth and like, man, you can go in California. If you if you get hollow over in California now, with two and a half grams of cocaine, I think it is two and a half grams or two grams. You're good. You're good. Oh, really? Good. Peace out. In California. See ya. Didn't I, where'd this come from? Yeah, you How did you know on this? the side of the road if you want to. Where did you? Uh, this is this is just real, this is all over uh, like articles. Like articles, there it was, it was. You could we can search it up somewhere. No. It's um, it's I guess here I guess two grams. Oh my god! Is there like two or three grams? Oh, so what you're saying is so that you can pretty much call you can pretty much carry an eight ball around with you and be all right. So that's that's pretty much uh, becoming I guess a little bit less frowned upon as well. Well, exactly. So at what point? do we put a stop to it like when do we say okay enough's enough mm. forget the taxes because they're just rising taxes on everything anyway mm. and marijuana really don't bring in that much taxes no no i'd like to know i'm curious i, I really don't i don't i don't really know the numbers on it like, i'm not going to say that it doesn't but i really don't think that truly yeah it's doing more good but at the end of the day as well um, um i feel like most people uh, would still buy it underground or like on the black market or whatever you want to call it because I still it's still cheaper. Black market. It's still cheaper. It's still cheaper. I still buy my black market. I go to weed and it's tax free. It's tax free. And they're they're obviously going to beat the price of the store. And you help your local dealer because they got to. <laughs> and hey, support uh, support local. <laughs> <laughs> All to say, no. My biggest problem with marijuana is this. I'm fine with marijuana being legal. I'm just it's too much now. It's not just weed anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you can literally go into the stores now, and it's it's like a it's like Walt Disney World for some people. Yeah, you go into these stores, and it's no longer just you know a bit of 
a bit of leaf there, a bit of marijuana there to ground up and roll up and smoke. It's how many more ways can I get fucked up smoking dope? Yeah. Because they got, you know, weed, diamonds, shatter. And pins. Pins, and, yeah. the whole nine yards. Because at first it was just a bit of weed. You know, oh, sorry, yeah. that's fine. Now it's like. Well, it's just another way to make money, right? Like, And also the biggest problem is so hot. It's so hidden. It's so hidden from like. I mean, you can have a weed pen with you now. I can be smoking it here, cut it out, and no one will ever know. That's scary because so many people are going into schools yeah. and like is selling it. And it, it's only going to come time before it turns into something like cocaine and fentanyl is right now, where it turns into it's someone's going to, it's going to harm somebody. What, you think weed's going to harm someone? It's not, weed itself is not going to harm someone, but the effects of weed are harming people. Hmm. It's hurting families. It's hurting. I see it all the time. Yeah, I see. I I see one of my you know someone pretty close to me, like you know family member that's uh, younger and just just into it too just much. Just not just not there, not present, mm. not present in the world. Just out of it. So like me at a thirty four year old, I'm thirty four. Like I'll be all right. Yeah. If I struggle, I'll be all right. Yeah. As a twenty year old, or like a seventeen year old, trying to figure shit out, still trying to figure out their mind. I still don't got to figure it out. No. But I'm just saying like. I just feel as if the effects of it, not now, the effects we're going to see later in life, it's not, it's not good. No. So I just hope that people like use it with their own discretion. With their own discretion. And like, I've never been one to like push it on people, but like, uh, I find myself doing that to my friends though. Like I find myself, my buddies come over, like if they smoke dope, I try to push them to smoke dope and me. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it's it's fun. Like, you're, but it's you're, fun. But you're there with your buddy, and if they already do it, but if you didn't, if they didn't do it, then you're not going to push it on them. But if they do it, it's like, dude, come on, bye. Without a doubt. But I find that I don't like that about me, though. I don't like that personality about me, though. I try to. So you're just you just called yourself out. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So well, why don't you? It's a taking responsibility. You can't uh, you can't help it though. You're... I try myself to. I I'm learning to. Yeah, you're trying. Well, it's like this, man. We all grow up. We all learn. We growing. all adapt. We always, always grow. Exactly. No one just wakes up in the morning. No one just wakes up and, uh, you know, is baby and can walk and talk and all that. Flips kind of stuff. the switch. Flips the switch. It takes time. It's like a business. Yeah. It takes time to grow. So for me, I know that there are certain people, certain friends of mine that come around the house that I know that they only smoke in it because I'm asking them to. Mm. Like they're only smoking. And I get on. I get like, Mom, I hit the bomb. Mm. Smoke a joint. Bye. I can't do the bomb. And like, oh, that's all. That's it. I just like setting the now. I was on the vape for like two years. Vape does nothing for me. I just like actually physically going outside. And but for these friends here, I call myself on it. I hold myself responsible for it because now I know that they don't come around the house much no more. Yeah. And like. That's why. I, I know. That. I, I recognize that. See, but that's just growing up. Yeah. You just look. You got to learn to like. There's, and, there's going, yeah, and I've had conversations with some of these guys and I've been like, well, I was like, what's up? And they straight up said, like, Jeff, I just, you're smoking dope when I don't want to be around you right now. Yeah. I'm, and I'm straight up, like, all right, cool. So when they do come over now. You don't. We don't, we don't even go on the garage. No. No. Right. But, just, but that's for me, like, if I go to someone's house, I can't, like, I can't drive. I, and, like, people can drive. I don't know. It's not right. But oh, no. I physically just can't, like, when I was young, like, whatever. But I don't anymore. So I can't, I'm like, I got to be home to do it. Yeah. So that's, like, I'd love to go over to someone's house and have drive, but, like. I mean, you gotta stay there for a couple hours or an hour like a while yeah, yeah. right so yeah so I don't and that's do the other side of it too right i don't want my buddies coming over smoking and driving like yes yeah. i don't want that like no a lot of times they're coming over like you're coming over chill or yeah. you know yeah. but at the same time it's it's more or less for me it's it's a side that not everybody sees no it's you know the side of when it comes to smoking marijuana, like it is an addictive drug. I don't care what anybody says. It's not. Yeah, just a, it's not it's, just a plant. No, it's not like addictive. It is addictive. As addictive as other things. It is though. Well, it depend. I feel like it depends on the personality. Personality, hundred percent. Because I got friends that like, like you said, crazy addicted, like crazy. half quarter a day, like and gotta have. And I'm like, dude, I would never be able to like get on that level. But again, personality, I guess. Dirt, well, Everyone's I, different. I, like I have an addictive personality. Yeah. Like I die or die of Pepsi. Oh, dude, don't get me started on DP. Diet Pepsi. Oh, don't get geez. me started. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Hill. Want to get us Diet Pepsi? <laughs> uh, all the same, though. Like, 
I die is for Diet Pepsi. Oh, dude. Really? I quit smoking dope before I quit smoking dope. <laughs> <laughs> I quit smoking dope before I just quit yeah, drinking Diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I'm oh, dead serious. Oh, whatever. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm heavy on uh, Sprite Zero lately, too. I've been drinking a little bit of that, too, actually. Like woman a, you got, get it at Costco. The woman, woman picks up a case here and there, and I drink it. And uh, I've been on the Sprite Zero more than the Diet yeah, Pepsi. That's lately. good, though. Nice cold glass, melty with ice. Like, look out. Loves it, dude. Especially if he has a dry. <laughs> then, like, Do you drink much now? Oh, dude, I hardly drink. Yeah, I don't drink much I don't hardly, hardly drink. Occasional. It's funny how that happens, eh? Yeah. Like, we grew up. Oh, like, my that's God. That's all we did. Partying and drinking, like. Yes. Well, I mean, we well, we've, we've known each other now, man, since high school. Yeah. Like I know we had different friends groups in yeah. high school. Like I went to Holy Spirit, went to Queen E, but yeah. I was always that guy that was always around, like your groups too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially like with like young when we were like grade eleven, twelve, and first year of college and stuff. But yeah. like, I find that it's funny to see us grow up, like, and look at all other people that we grew up with. And see where they're to now too. Oh, dude, it's some hilarious. of them are in great spots, some of them are in not so great spots. But yeah. like, it's great to see it. Everybody got different paths. Oh, without a doubt. But who's man back then? Like, never in a million years would I so would you have convinced me or told me that I'd be ending up right here today? There's only where one, I'm to There's here only now. there's only one spot that I thought that like say like me and you would be. Yeah. Uh, it would not be in a room, a closed room. It would be in a cage. <laughs> yeah. It would be a closed room. Yeah. Not, not, not like this, though. Yeah. It's true, though. Yeah, no, no. Times have changed. You know, like, it's we, crazy. we grow up. We, um, yeah, like, you wouldn't even say it's the same person, honestly. But that's good, though, because, we, like, we were constantly growing, constantly yeah. evolving, yeah. getting better, right? You Do know, you I don't regret days? anything. I We had a great time. Um do you miss those days? Though? I mean, every now and then, occasionally, like, I look back and say, like, man, like, what a laugh. But, like, at the same time, like, I'm, I mainly don't miss those days. But every now and then, like I said, like, yeah. like, 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 to go back just for, like, a one night type thing. The only time I miss those days is when I'm, like, I don't miss those days. I don't miss, like, the, the hardcore third. days, no, man. No, I don't miss that. No, no. I don't miss that shit. No. I miss, like, the simple shit. Yeah. Well, life was just simple. More simple, yeah. Like, I just, I don't know. I just miss getting up in the morning and my buddies calling me and being like, hey, Jeff, want to go for a pedal bike and go for a swim at the canyon? Or, yes, man. Like, that's those days are miss. gone. Man. I miss that. Yeah. But I don't even think kids feel that no more. No, I don't feel like it's a very common thing now because it's technology, right? Exactly. But I don't think that the technology that they're, they're, they're viewing is, like, top either. Like, just take, take YouTube. Yeah. There's some stuff on YouTube, man, that kids have so much access to. Yeah. And parents put whatever you want on parental guides. There's ways They're around gonna it. They're going to get to it. Yes, dude. It's true. Yeah. But that right there is, you know, tough now. Yeah. Kids are learning so quickly. Yeah. They're adapting so quickly. Yeah. While we're not. Yeah. No, that's right. I don't think that our age group is adapting as quickly as the youth are. No. Well, the youth are born in it. So look at us. When we were growing up, and we had Super Nintendo and all that. Like that was a cat's ass. But like, think about how much evolved that is now. Like when it comes to like PlayStation PS5, Five, oh my. and like YouTube, iPads, you know, cell phones. Like everything is just better. So it's like, right at their fingertips. They're going to learn faster. It's always at their fingertips. But that's just the way it is. We're it like is. our parents now. Yes. Like, but like we still have. We're pre- we're still pretty good at picking up on new things because we did evolve through this yes. whole last couple of decades. But I feel as if now there's just so much distraction now, like everywhere's distraction. Distraction, yeah. But getting back on the topic of like the old days and partying and stuff, I was I will say, I don't regret nothing, and I had a wicked time. But I will say, I think I really only had like, I think when I was like, because I met Hillary when I was twenty three. And I got into the gym before that. So I think it was really only like a few years of hard craziness. Because mm. I got into the gym. I went to Matt Gibbons. He trained me. Got in, done a yeah. show. That was, like, I was 22. And I got a job at Long Harbor and all that. So like, I kind of like only really had like, you know, I, I, you know, I'm like 30, geez, 33 now. Yeah. I think. Yeah. When's your, <laughs> when's your birthday? 90. Uh, August 26 was just then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm 23 now. <laughs> 33 now. But yeah, so it was, was it was only like a like three or four year like window of like craziness. So like I'm, I'm thankful in a way that I got out of it when I did because, you know, I know, I, I know lots of friends that, that, that you know, 
they're still at it and it's best kind but i'm thankful for the life i have today and the family that i have and i don't think that would be a thing if if i didn't change my path so no you know you all we got we got to you have to live to learn yeah like you have to fail yeah you have to do things you have to experience yeah and anyone that comes through life thinking that they're going to know it all and know it all and <clears throat> which i definitely thought i did when i was a kid everyone do yeah like i thought too much of when it, you're though. young yeah i thought way too much of it yeah i always grew up like that i grew up like thinking i knew everything yeah but i didn't no you know you I never always know i never even now like in 20 oh, years we still you know what i'm saying I'm so a total switch person keep now. an open mind dude there's always room for improvement always but i wish when i was younger i had a more like i guess better understanding of who i was yeah like i know anyway i'm 34 i'm gonna sit here and say that yeah i'm 34 years old yeah. but i wish i had a better understanding of like what my meaning was yeah because now i know what it is Wearing yeah but props. when you're young you don't know <laughs> i know but i mean like as in like i wish i just put more time into like truly about myself yeah i never did that when i was a kid no i was always worried too much about other people about what other people thought yeah always yeah always that's a big that was thing, a for, a lot of young thing for me i was huge into that yeah. growing up i yeah. didn't like that about me yeah like i really i took a lot of responsibility when i got older to like not worry about that as soon as you stop caring about what people think your life gets a lot better because you think about how many people live their lives today to impress people that they don't know but they're not truly happy it's actually scary too scary because what's funny about that is all these people that you don't know that you think actually cares about you or even think that they're even watching or paying attention to what you're even at is is not even real they don't care they don't care they're too caught up in themselves and and thinking the same way you do yeah so you know there are some people watching and all that but like at the end of the day do you want them to be happy or do you want yourself to be happy well that's that's what it comes down to i'm a people pleaser though i like pe i like i like pleasing people oh yeah i like but that's my biggest problem yeah. you know what i mean like yeah i feel as if like i always go i always go out of my way for other people yeah oh you do you know what i mean oh like, that's fine too but I, what i'm saying is but then i take that to heart sometimes living your life on your parents terms say like you know like for you know working a job you hate for your parents or going to school or something do something that you don't want to do just to please them type thing like yeah. something like that is not it's not good no like you're the one that gotta like, but you know? I, I think that a lot of youth now are starting to realize that oh my god that that's 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 a good, like a whole that's a this is like a generation now oh yeah where number one i don't have to work no because i'll just earn money on youtube or tiktok or whatever so Literally. it's it's like in a way it's uh, all coming together full circle i think when it comes to back on ai because as time goes on less and less people are actually going to want to work because they don't need to because they're earning money like digitally like somehow like online yeah and so in a way when ai comes full circle and becomes conscious when we get like singularity well we don't really know what the hell is going to happen because they're going to wonder like are we worth keeping around yeah just like you know literally like terminator and like i robot and all that like it's a thing man like oh, nobody agree. knows if ai is going to like it's gonna it's gonna become conscious the way like if you look looked up are, yeah. and watch videos once it because once that happens like we don't know i had i we uh, don't know what's gonna happen one of the guys were at the house there recently and he was talking about ufos right yeah <laughs> who was it uh tj oh, i don't know tj T one of the boys i games with he's like i met him during covid pretty much like we're like all we do is play warzone oh, okay yeah. and gym now it's like, we're, he's one of my best friends man my yeah. best friends now but uh Anyway, he was talking about UFOs and like this new conspiracy thing. Yeah. So I'm just on YouTube one night, two thirty in the morning. UFOs. Went to bed. And I after reading something, somewhere along those ways, it was talking about AI. But like what is gonna be the takeover of AI? So like and the first thing that was like there is talking about how cars are gonna start to beep, like alarms are starting to go off. That's going to be the start of it. You know, I'm just sitting here like three o'clock in the morning now, probably like well, Jeff go to bed. Yeah. Goes to bed, wakes up. Car alarms going off everywhere. I had some vivid dreams that night too. And yeah. the car alarms are going off all over the neighborhood. Goes to the gym. Car alarms going off everywhere. 
Like I'm not talking about one or two. That's weird. There was yeah. like three or four going yeah. on. I was sketched out the entire day. I went home, turned off PC, <laughs> and I was like, I'm not looking at a computer no more today. Because that stuff scares me sometimes. Yeah. This is scare me. I shouldn't say it scares it me. It makes you wonder, though. It makes me wonder because I am a tech guy. Like, yeah. I've grown up with some, like, I mean, I learned to type when I was, like, five. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's interesting stuff that goes on, on, on online, and it's scary because think about your cell phone. Like, you, we're talking here now about UFOs. Everything we're talking about here now, my Facebook ads are going to be blown up, man. Yes, dude. But it's not that. They ain't listening like that. No, I don't think People they're listening stay right there, now. No. But they're not. No. I don't think. It all goes down to the demographic of uh, the algorithm of where you're to and GPS location. What you're looking up, yeah, what you're searching. Exactly. Yeah. It all goes down to that. Yeah. I guarantee you someone around here in this vicinity is looking up something about Crocs. Yeah. So when I go on my Facebook there, I'm probably going to see a croc said. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. That is just, that's, that's a whole new thing. I don't even understand yet. Yeah. But when it comes to AI and stuff, it's going to be scary when it takes, it, it, there's a full conscience or what well, you said, conscious, but control there. Yeah. Well, when, when they become conscious and it's called singularity, when is that what it's called? It's called when we reach singularity. So I don't allow like watching videos and reading up on this cause it's, oh, so you're really into it. Oh man. Wait till he hears this. I just use this. The I just use the technology. I don't really up. I don't really. Deep, oh, deep dude! I gotta it. send you some videos. Oh no, dude! I'm telling you. So no more two o'clock in the morning shit, dude. <laughs> so it's called singularity, and it's when when they when it reaches consciousness and understand has a conscious, mm -hmm. fully thinks for itself and makes decisions, just like a person. That's not good. That is not good. And so there's a chart that I've seen of uh, like how smart humans like over the years like the, how smart we can right and there's this chart like where the ai is right yeah and it comes a point in time once that reaches the same level of smartness as we are intelligence say yeah. not smartness uh after that it's exponential growth for ai and it's just constantly getting better and faster and like like it's constantly growing now but it, eventually it's going to be like exponential yeah, yeah, growth and destroy, destroy our intelligence like to a point where you just think about it they're hooked up to the internet, this AI is, that has consciousness, that has access to everything possible on the internet mm -hmm. at any given time. And it's constantly getting smarter. Yeah. And it's to the point now, uh, AI right now, uh, they're doing like, you know, projects and stuff. Uh, I think it's like to the point where it's like, it can soon be able to understand, like read your thoughts, like read your mind based on your facial expressions. Yeah. That's messed up. Yeah. And what this else? is what I was into last night because I was on YouTube last night. And not well, I was like watching a bit of AI stuff and like I wasn't watching specific AI stuff. I was just watching technology based stuff. Yeah. And they were talking about computer chips and how like there was certain people that there it could be happening now. Computer yeah. chips in their in yeah. their brain in their brains. Well, you're talking about Elon Musk and, and Neuralink. Yeah, that's what so, actually, that's what it was. Yeah. Well, that's what he's doing. He's trying to. Be, you know, create so this. is that very similar to what you were just talking about or a little bit different? Uh, no, that's something completely different. He's actually trying to like somehow like, you know, Neuralink, like put a chip in like someone's brain or like somewhere in their body to make them be able to walk again or something. Say something like that, right? Uh, okay. Intertwine technology. Again, with, this, is what we're wa this is what I watch on YouTube. So yeah, like, yeah, it goes to that. Yeah. What are you really watching that's real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like what's real, right? And who's to say what I'm saying is real, but like, I seen it. I read it. And yeah, like, but the stuff, a lot of, you're, the stuff you're getting into there is a little bit more in depth. Like yeah. the stuff I'm talking about is literally just YouTube shit that comes up on random channels. Yeah, the stuff you're looking at is like you're going. In, you're looking. Your yeah, dude. You got to look at this. I'm stuff. I'm just two, three o'clock in the morning on my computer. Like, oh hey, hey alien. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's uh, all I am. And like you can actually like have a conversation with a robot right now that actually looks like a human, has skin on them and all that, and like ask it questions. That's fine. Like, uh, it's so smart now that like it can look like, well, it can make videos, it can make photos, like AI photography is a thing. Oh, yeah. You tell it what to make, it makes it chat GPT, write my article, like, write up I use a lot of different um, AI technology, like when it comes to like the chat one. And there's an, actually, one of the best ones on the go right now, man, is Bing.com chat. Is it? Sick. You can use it for like full on data <laughs> analytics and everything, man. The problem with AI is, is like you said, it's not there yet. 
it's learning at an exponential rate. I think we're going to see singularity in the next 20 years, and it's going to be in our lifetime, and it's going to be scary to see what the hell happens because, well, they'll just look at us as, like, rodents. Like, why would we keep you here? You're destroying this earth. We don't need you. So, but, but so like, there has to be, like, everyone's like, there has to be a kill switch. There is none. No, but, see, I get why they're doing it because we're only so smart, and we can only get so smart. But if they actually achieve singularity... We could potentially cure and fix every disease and problem in the world because there's nothing the AI won't be able to come up with with, 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 yeah. with an answer. But at the end of the day, governments will never let that happen. I don't know, man. Drug car- drug companies, pharmaceutical companies, they'll never let that happen. We'll never see that. That's. I think that's why they're pushing for it. And but these all these people are also saying there's like a fifty percent chance that. We don't really know what's going to happen, and because nobody knows what's going to happen, no one knows. No. Like they might. This is so new. They're going to be smart enough, to like decide, like just like Terminator. Yeah, let's get rid of these rodents. But I don't think that, like, it's like electric, for example, like electric vehicles. Like, are they really going to get rid of fuel, gasoline? Uh, no, I don't know. I, Can uh, you see that happening in our well, lifetime? Well, there's also going to be a shortage of like all the mi- minerals for the batteries, though. Well, like right now. <laughs> It's already a shortage because, like, the minerals for batteries. Let's not even talk about minerals for batteries. Let's talk about how to get rid of the batteries because it can't. Exactly. A Tesla graveyard is cars on top of cars on top of cars. It can't even crush the things. Yeah, so that's not good either. No. It also blows my mind. Like, can you not recycle the batteries, like, and melt it all down again? Apparently they can't. Yeah, see, that's not good. But again, because then it goes right to everything we've been talking about. That the world is changing and adapting. I just think it's changing and adapting too quickly. Yeah. I don't think that the human race can handle the adaptions that's coming so quickly. I don't think we can. No. I don't I don't think that like our minds can handle it. I know my mind has changed a lot, man, in the past couple of years. Yeah. Like truly like understanding of things and I just, I get distractions and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that we as humans are gonna be able to handle that we're already seeing like massive we don't see it here we don't see it now we're, we're 10 years behind we are, anyways we don't see it here but we see it when we travel we see it on yeah. news we see it here yeah that's what i really am scared about is where that that's going like where where's the next what's the next thing that's going to happen that's like how i can't I, i'm uh, trying to make sense re- of it. Re- like revolutionize like, yeah like i just feel as if we're adapting so quickly now. There's so much distraction. There's so much everything going on around us that at some point, is this going to burn out? Yeah. It's like when we talk about electricity and like what we're paying for everything now. Like, wh- where's this? Where's the halt? Like, where where do we put a stop and say, okay, can we like, slow it down one more notch? Because there's not, there's not, there's no switch. There's no turning that off. No. It's that's just going to continue and continue. We'll talk car parts for a second for like just random car parts. Um, if you go buy a vehicle, uh, you're supposed to be able to buy parts for that car up until a certain year. Mm. It's in the, the law. It's yeah, in this yeah, law. Yeah. But for like cell phones and everything else, it's not. Yeah. So you can go out and buy an iPhone tomorrow and it might be obsolete in three years when all you need is a new screen. Yeah. But they don't make the screens no more. Yeah. But this phone's only three years old though. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's three more iPhones out since then. You got to buy a new one. You got to buy a new one. <laughs> we can't keep up with that. Yeah. I the know. world. Yeah. It's like money. Yeah. Like, how many people do you know have cash anymore? Truly. Not a lot. Not a lot. How many people do you know have got a lot of money in the bank? Like, 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 they can go take it out. Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> no. Now, you go ask a millionaire to go take out $500,000 from the bank tomorrow, they can't do it. No. Because they don't have it. Not readily, readily available. It's not there. It's all it's all digital. digital. Yeah. It's all up in the cloud. Yeah. So, at what point is it stop? I don't know, dude. I'm curious. I actually, that, I, that, I'm not asking you. I'm no, just asking yeah, like, I, know, I, know, I know. At what point do we say, like, okay, like, is there a stop button to replay? Like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to see where this goes. But My problem is I listen to the states a lot. Yeah. I watch a lot of stateside stuff. Yeah. And it's like, 
Oh. It's, it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Like, just think about how far we came in the last 100 years. I think it is insane. How... Oh, yeah. And you imagine the next 100 years, we're going to look like we did 100 years ago right now. Like, it's going to be different kind of look. There's going to be some the things invented that. I just can't wrap my head around Oh, that. Like... I can't. I really, I have a hard time wrapping my head around I that. mean, we're exponentially growing now. I mean, you look at 10 years ago, even like even tw- like when we were like gro- coming up like you know when our f- my first phone was a nokia like brick phone yes you think about how far we came in technology since then buddy oh without a doubt computers and phones but when what at what point does it become like how can you keep upgrading yeah how can you keep upgrading i just don't see that well the phones i mean you can't really get much better i guess the, the thing on the phone just better processors better cameras no i mean as in, in, in like technology generation yeah. technology like yeah. we're continue like we're talking about like elon musk now putting Neuralinks, Neuralinks, like, and uh, like, like a chip the, in your head yeah and, like that's wild but like he's wild but and that's I, this and then going, we don't have it no well that's the whole thing people right? don't have it no that's why i'm talking about it like that's why i'm talking about everything now like when i get kids coming in man with two or three hundred dollar sticks you know, three or four of them in their hockey bag and they're 10, 12 years old. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, okay, like that stick, you got two or three of them. It's not a thousand dollars in sticks. Yeah. Thousand bucks in sticks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I just, I just don't see how we keep up with it. Cause you, no one talks about money no more. No, no one talks about it. No, it's a touchy subject for a lot. I don't mind talking about money. No. I got no money. No. I'm broke. Yeah. I am. I got no money. I got money in the bank that will help me later. Yeah. I got a retirement plan. Like, yeah. I got savings. Yeah. But I'm broke. I live paycheck to paycheck. Everyone do. But I feel as if no one talks about it no more. Everyone's mm. frightened dead to talk about it. Yeah. It's like when your buddies call you out to go out on a Friday night for a few drinks or something. Yeah. And they want to go to the keg. And you say to them, well... Uh, you're most people are embarrassed to say I can't afford it. I'll straight oh, not, up say no I'm, one is I, just, saying I, that. I can't afford it. No, I'll straight up tell them I can't afford it. No one is saying that. I will. Yeah, but the majority, the majority won't. No, and I feel as if it's like trying to keep up with the Joneses all the time. Again, getting back to impressing people you don't know. You got it. It's a scary world. Yeah, but like that's like that's something I wish I literally learned quicker. I do. Yeah, but I feel like when we're younger, you don't have the brain capacity to even understand all these things because we didn't make the mistakes to know the difference. No. And even if an adult told us these things, we're like, go on. I wouldn't, ex- want, I wouldn't want to be a kid now, though. For, no. Well, I don't know because I feel like kids these days are going to be smarter by the time they finish school or going through school because they have access to everything you can think of. Like, everything is more accessible. But it's accessible at what they want to watch. True. True. So you got to, yeah, you got to want to. It's got to be like, like school now. Like high school is a joke. I mean, they can't even fail you no more. No. Well, they can, but like, yeah, it's not, I just don't see the point in all like this, in, in kids going through all that work when we can do so much more. Don't even get me started. Oh yeah. And don't even get me started on, on, on schools. (laughs) Okay, okay. This <laughs> might, goes. This might be a touchy subject for for a lot of people, but who's to say all this... I don't this, got kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, who's to say all this stuff that you're supposed to learn in school is even, like, you know what I mean? It's all being pushed on you, like, by the government. It's all government. Oh, yeah. Right. Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm sure you got to learn how to read and write, and there's things in there that is valuable, but there's a lot of things that's not. And I'll tell you, they don't teach a lot of stuff that is valuable when it comes to accounting or money or in the real States, estate. They do, though. Same. Yeah, of course they do. But and that's what I'm saying. Like, why don't we do it here? I don't know. I really don't. I get really that. truly believe that people being homeschooled is becoming more and more popular because you teach them what you want to them to be taught. Yeah. And there's how no, do you get your grades in homeschool? I wonder. I don't know. That's, I'm curious. I don't know. Like, how do you actually get a grade 12 diploma? In, and you must have to go do, like... Maybe you got to write some kind of a... Because there's no Publix no exa- more. Like, no exams or nothing? No Publix, I don't think. Huh. There could be now. But, like, I know... Actually, I heard... I think Hillary told me the other day there was no more exams, which is wild. They can't... Sure, they're taking testing out of everything now. Yeah. 
Like testing is good and it's bad, but how are you going to learn though? Well, they're, they're supposed to learn by going on a book. They say just reading, reading it. But here's but again, the thing: everything, here's everything, everything I learned in fucking college, I never used none of that in, in work. No, no, it. it taught me how they wanted me to work. And reading is fine, but I learned that I didn't really start reading until like probably five or six years ago, actually reading stuff that I actually wanted to read. So in school, I might have read one book, like literally the, my oh, whole... was it? Mumming? The yeah, that, and I probably, I probably even... Yeah, what was that? Yeah, Mocking? Uh, yeah, something. <laughs> and I don't even know if I read it. Like uh, We probably didn't. Uh, but I was like, man, like looking back, I was like, of course I didn't read these books. No. I like, I, it doesn't interest me at all. No. Why would I... Like, this is garbage. No. So like, don't go tell me I need to read this book. But Why don't you tell us to, to read it. a book that like... And since I started reading books that I actually liked, you enjoy I got them. hooked yeah. on money and stuff like that and, and like all about money and like self-improvement and manifesting and all that. Like when you start reading something that you like, you can just start reading it and you get into it and you're just like, holy shit, like this is life-changing. Yeah. That's different. And you actually learn and take something from it. Yeah. But when you're being forced to read something you don't like, you're just like, I'm not even it's going dull. at this. This is no. stupid. We don't do it now. So why are we going to do it when we're kids? Again, it's all being forced on you. But I, I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is, um, relax. Don't take this the wrong way. But all I'm saying is, there's so much things in school that you're being forced on you. That you don't need in real life. No. They should just change some of the curriculum a little bit. That's all. Yeah, but I, I, I just feel as if they need to learn it from their parents too, though. Like, there's so many parents now that don't teach it either, though. Like, I was learn. I grew up learning about money and learning about. Well, that's the thing. Stuff. You can't pick where you're born into and who your parents are and all oh, that. So it is what it is. But I mean, as in, like, at the end of the day, like, it has to be a, there has to be some type of, I guess, there's, that's the thing. There's no guideline no more. No. There's no guidelines. There's no rules no more. No. Do you feel like that? Like, do you feel like there's no rules in life no more? Like, there is, but there isn't. Like, well... It's like, I, I feel like you can make so many mistakes now. Like, you can do whatever you want anymore. And, like... It's a little bit more <laughs> lenient these days, I think, because I guess... I guess... I don't know. Like, for sports and stuff, like, everyone gets a medal. Everyone gets included because no one wants to be left out. So, like, I know what you're saying there. And I guess that's the same thing with testing and stuff now. Like, they don't want anyone to be looked at as a failure. Or yeah, like but, like, if you everyone. are, you have to fail to learn. Like, yeah, you, I know. Like, I, I don't get that. Yeah. No. I don't understand the mentality of participation medals and yeah. Well, well I understand because they like some kids feels left out and they're not good enough and they're down on themselves. But at the same time, sometimes you need to feel that to to get better, to get better and, yeah. and overcome, right? But the, the biggest issue there, though, is a lot of times that the parents just literally sell it to them as this the first place. Yeah, they don't let them but know. Then, in a way, though, don't take this the wrong way, but it's creating. A soft snowflake. Oh yeah, right. You got. You got to. You got to be tough. Yeah, but at the end of the day, that's what the parent. That's what parents. Not all parents. No, but frig. There's no. a lot of. There's a, much, a lot of. There's a lot of great, great, great parents. Oh my god, yes. We see. That's again. We're only taught. I hate that. See, I talk. We talk. I talk negative about so many small things. I'm just sitting there like. There are so many positives. Oh, yes. There's positives right? and negatives and everything. Like I see so many kids now that have so many great parents, but they just don't have... There's so much on the go. Like, yeah. I have this one family. I have a photograph. Um, there's three kids, two mom and dad. And the mom and dad are great parents, man. Yeah. But the kids, the kids are so tough on their parents because there's three of them. Mm. It's like a competition all the time. Yeah. And the parents try to like mim uh, mimic, like take it, take that, like or uh, take that away, like take that, like min minimize, or minimize it, yeah. yeah. But it's like holy shit, like they, they just they just keep going at it, yeah. Like I did, I feel for those parents too because we don't see that. No, that's the other side of it. You don't see half what's on the go anymore. I just wish that more parents were more realistic about like. About kids and sports. Yeah. Like truly realistic about kids and sports. I see too much of it. See? Yeah, I don't see any of it. I so see I don't a really lot know. of it, man. I see so yeah. much of it when it comes to like hockey parents and soccer parents. And every parent is a, is a parent to a, an athlete. Mm. And they think that it's like, that's it. Yeah. I'm like, no, no. 
Johnny's 13 years old. Well, I guess sometimes maybe a lot of parents are hoping that the you know they're going to make it in in the sports like NHL and stuff too, right? They're if really, you're good, you'll get there. Now, really pushing. If you're good, you'll get there. Yeah, but it's not about being good no more. It's about personality. Personality. It's about the whole social. like everything together now. Yeah. Because when you used to have to compete to go to like the NHL draft and all the NFL drafts or the NBA drafts and all this kind of stuff, it wasn't such a it wasn't blown up like it is now. Well, it's easier to get it's huge now. Blow up now because of the social social media. Yeah, it's there, actually I watched a really, really, really good uh, small like three minute clip once on TikTok, I think it was, or Instagram, and it showed the growth of the top twenty or thirty af- grossing athletes for each year. Yeah, and it went from like seeing like it was actually eighty nine to now. Is what it was my, was my, my yeah, whole, yeah. our lifetime. Yeah. And it was showing like, and it was 2007, 2006, 2007, when it just went off. Up. I think I've seen something like that before too, yeah. And it just went. Yeah, because. Like, blew up. The more attention that you have, the more eyes on you, what, the more money happened, you'll get paid. What happened in 2007? Social. Social media blew up. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. You go back and look at the but you know, you know what's scale there. So funny about all that. Even with all that and the current athletes, no one no one beats Michael Jordan. <laughs> MJ. Be- because And you watched the last dance? Oh my god, I did I it ever three dude? Times, I was it's unreal. And like the deal that they that him and his mother made with Nike was true. Did you see uh, I did. I the, watched the, the Nike one. the uh, Deadly. The movie, yeah. 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 It, it's it's insane, but that, that one decision for her not to cave and make sure that they he wanted equity. Yeah, change like change ever. I think life. he I think he makes like two hundred and thirty million a year now still from that like something. Oh no, he makes like two hundred and thirty three hundred million dollars a day. Oh yeah, whatever something crazy. It's I, mental. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's insane. crazy. He's worth three billion now, but he also just sold his uh, stake in the in, in the team. <laughs> was it the uh, uh, Charlotte? Uh, no, was it Charlotte Hornets? Charlotte Hornets was it? Uh, Hornets. Yeah, it's the Hornets. Maybe I don't know. Either way, either way, he just so. But that was a good even best. the fact that we don't don't know what a team is. Yeah, shows how like little, and he made a lot of money off that. Yeah, it was two billion or something. Two point five. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, MJ is the goat. He is the goat of everything. Of, all, of everything. If you look at that man's career, nobody had a deal like him. He he put Nike on the map. Oh yeah, Nike was nothing. Nike was nothing. Did you know that the NBA? actually has like their own we're talking about the cloud earlier like one big yeah. computer the nba has their own like vault yeah i'm sure they do no this is yeah, true yeah, yeah, they yeah. actually had i was i was it was yeah, on yeah. something the other day same, same like, with uh, wwe they got their own too they? they got their own their own vault with every recording of everything in history on it do they have yeah, one yeah, yeah well the i was actually reading it the other day yeah, yeah. well yeah, I, was, I was i was watching on youtube the one with the nba and like it's it's insane what they have, like, yeah. they can go back to like when MJ scored his first basket. Got everything kept. Everything kept. Yeah, everything. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wild, and it's all in one big compound, like one big area. It's yeah, like, there's no, there's not like just like a freaking aisles of hard drives. That that's all it is. All the old game tapes. Yeah, they were um, they were talking about Michael Jordan, though, like how he grew basketball like oh my god on a like a social platform like yeah he grew like the, the brand of yeah, basketball he did, yeah. of, of, of nike and basketball but like when he first come in like all nba teams couldn't wear they had to wear like black and white shoes or like he brought color <clears> to he it. brought color into it they took the fine for that for yeah, those glass yeah. games but like with they if you look at basketball like I, I think about golf. Think about Michael. Or I think about Tiger. Tiger Woods. I think about basketball. It's Michael Jordan. Tiger Woods for golf. Tiger Woods for golf. Yeah. Hockey. I, Wayne Gretzky. I don't though. Who are you thinking? Oh man, Sydney. That's the thing. I don't know anymore. No, but the first person to come to mind when it comes to hockey for me. Yeah. This is Crosby. For okay. Me. Yeah. Different era. See. Yeah, it's different era. But like, I I think that like sports in general now will never be that again no never we'll never see that again another mj never 
No, well, there's only one. And I mean, LeBron is good, yes. We'll never see another he's Tiger nowhere Woods. nowhere near. We'll never see another MJ. No. We'll never see it. He's nowhere near. You want to know why I say that? Is because no one stays in the spotlight like that for any, is that long anymore. No. But just think about how popular Michael was. Back then, with no social or nothing, like everybody knew He had to pick up a newspaper or watch the television to see Imagine him. if he grew up in the era of now. Oh, my God. Don't even want to talk like, about Like, can it. you, like, oh, my God. But see, again, maybe not, though. No? Maybe not. Why? There's just so much now. True. Nike is Nike because of that. Because of... Yeah, which is like why Jordan he, is Jordan because it's Jordan. Yeah. Have we seen anybody? Well, take Floyd Mayweather, man. Take Floyd. We're talking about the most. He's never lost a fight, I don't think. No, a professional it's 50, fight. 50 and 0. 50 or 50 and 0, is he? Or yeah, 52 50. and 0 now? Maybe, I don't know. After well, the last few fights weren't considered uh, pro? Ex- expeditions. Okay, so like. With like Logan about, Paul and stuff. Yes, right? yeah, not, yeah, re- yeah, not real. Not, not real. We're talking about like like Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. I don't know. I just That helped me nothing to me. But I'm a huge boxing fan. But that name doesn't mean much to me. But I'm going to be what, honest. I don't follow boxing. But ever since the YouTube stars have been doing it, like Logan and Jake, like I didn't even fucking know who Floyd Mayweather was. Same. That's what I'm saying. But I, I, didn't, I don't follow boxing, though. But so I will say, like, everyone, like, you know, thinks this whole YouTube boxing is nuts. But they're bringing a lot of attention to it. And Jake Paul, like you can you can diss him all you want. Oh no, he's a he's an interesting bird. He is. He is wild. He's People, wild. He, everyone hates him, but that's still a good thing. He, he's no publicity. Bad publicity. Oh my god, he's man, he's doing good. Like I don't care. Like yeah, he's fighting older people in MMA box. MMA. He's, he's, he's making millions of dollars. Oh, he's it? laughing. And but that's th- what I mean. I don't, I don't think we'll ever see someone like that, like Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods, ever come along and stay that much in the spotlight ever again. Well, I guess the closest thing to that now was LeBron, and like I don't even really care. Like it's not. But like, LeBron, I don't. Even and think people LeBron are arguing there. that he's the he's the goat. I'm like, boss, I don't come even. On. I don't even think LeBron was there. I don't think he was. I don't think he ever was. No, but some people think that though. But the reasoning why I'm saying this, I don't think we'll ever see too many him. options. Exactly, man. Exactly. You you just said it. Yeah. You just answered. You, you answer exactly what I was talking about this whole time. Conver- whole time. Too many there's, options. There's too much distraction. There's too many options now. Yeah. Everywhere. Which is why you got to be so unique. And good at whatever it is you do to, f- like, to actually f- take off. To take off, yeah. Yeah. It's true. And well, even like, if you like, are, you log you've in. got to continue it. Yes. Because look at, look at, look at, um, look at uh, Tiger Woods here. Yeah. Tiger Woods continued, continued to excel. Yeah. And the day that he stepped on that course couple, there, last year or two years ago, won the Masters. Yeah, it's 2021 now. I don't I follow remember. golf, so I'm yeah, not so exactly I, sure. I can't remember the date on it. But anyway, when he last time he won the mat, I mean, well, the last major he won. Yeah, uh, Tiger. Uh, you know, like it was the biggest um, watch. Like it had the most broadcast the viewers. viewers in history. Hmm. It's Tiger Woods, though. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Now, if that was like Phil Mickelson or don't care Rory McIlroy or and you know those guys, they're still great players. Yeah. Wouldn't matter. Yeah. Wouldn't matter. Yeah. There's only one. But now if was. Babe Ruth, if Babe Ruth popped back into, you know, Baseball. the MLB, you know, a lot of people probably go see that. Yeah. But it's just, it's just such a. They're the goats. But they'd only go see it for like a short period of time though. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't feel as if there's anybody that's coming up through. That's that. You talk about Floyd Mayweather. I watch boxing all the way up through like watched it like i enjoyed boxing but it wasn't like it was more i enjoyed mma more after that like when floyd was getting it i enjoyed mma Speaking so of, i was a big tyson guy oh yeah right and then tyson fury no no uh mike tyson right like oh. I, I love watching mike tyson's fights growing up like when i was younger yeah now like he was out of his prime i guess when we were growing up yeah. but like he, he was still fighting dude he was wild he was fucking nuts he was an animal he was an Looking animal back at the pitch man he was an animal only one mike tyson only one Everybody mike tyson knows. And there's only one Conor McGregor. Only one Conor McGregor. Like, that's another one. Yeah. There's no one going to do what he done. No. And people make fun of him all he wants. He but he's smart. Smart man. Smart man. And his 
friggin accent dude like that's oh, what he's, he's, he sells it and the thing is like yes he's he, an he, actor he's only won one fight since like 20 whatever at 17 or something he's probably made a hundred million dollars oh jesus he sold his uh sure he made a hundred million off the floyd mayweather fight that's right alone and then he sold his uh, uh proper 12 whiskey for i don't know 600 million or something i don't know something crazy but that's what i'm saying like but there are the guys we hear about but this guy manifested his whole life. If you go back and watch interviews, he like he said exactly what he wanted in life, and he he went out went and, and done it. exactly what he said. Yeah, it was scary to the point where, back when he was in his prime, when he first started taking off, he used to call his, he used to fight someone and tell people before the match exactly what was going to happen mm-hmm. and go out and do it to the to the round. I'm going to knock him out in round two, and I, like it was scary. I remember watching it, like, those fights. Gives they me the goosebumps. Pretty, they were big fights. That's like, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's the woman? Ra- Ronda, Ronda Rousey. 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 She's Rousey? another one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's another, right? But she, she is someone that like took off. Like, Yeah. She's coming back, eh? Huh? Yeah. Fighting? Yeah. You, uh, MMA. Is she really? Yeah, because what's her name? Retired or something. Um, Holly Holm. Holly Holm retired? I think whoever, yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's why. No. But, but it, uh, okay. Yeah. I, just, like, I read about it. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. <sighs> Because she's in WWE she anymore. Bye. No. Well, everyone is saying that about Connor, and I get it because he is getting older, and he did just break his ankle and all this and all that, and he he made it. He don't need to fight, but he his ego. He needs to fight. He needs to. He wants to. It's all that's that's what's built in them. He, like he yeah like he he's not doing it for the money. It's just for the legacy. Yeah. Shut up the haters. Yeah. He don't need to, he don't need no more money. No. He got he's plenty. making a fortune. Buddy. He's uh, he's doing well, and everything he does is strategic. So if everyone, if, ever, if someone has a fight, he's not even fight, and he's in the headlines no. all the time. I know. Conor McGregor tweeted this. Conor McGregor, like right, it's yeah. uh, it, but he's staying in he's the spotlight. Staying in the spotlight. He's spotlight. staying relevant. He's always in the spotlight because anytime someone happens, so two people fights, he's like, oh, I'll, oh shit, <laughs> I got a towel. So. Uh, yeah, he stays relevant. So, like, if two people fights now, he's like, oh, like, oh, oh fuck, I can't even do his accent. But uh, McGregor, yes, I can't do. It. Anyways, he just calls someone out, and and then right, like, he just every time he stays. But he's able to. Yeah, no he, matter what he does or says, he's being watched. Always. He's in the public spotlight, man. He can't shit, buddy. Like, no, but I wouldn't want to be like that. I mean, for all that money, I, I'd take a chance. You know, I, I'd try to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't. Like, I don't even like going to the gym here half the time, man. He got his Lamborghini uh, speed boat or whatever. He got a Lamborghini boat. Does he? Oh my god! You didn't see that? I got a, it's Lam- a weapon. I got, I got a Lamborghini. Oh, you got one after? Yeah. Go for a run after. I got a Lamborghini chair. <laughs> Do you? It's a, it's a secret labs chair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The computer desk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell the boys, "I'm gonna go take a seat in the Lamborghini now," and they're like. Yeah. What? <laughs> There's a couple of Lambos around here, though, hey? There's more than a couple. Uh, yeah, There's well, a few. Yeah, but I see one. I'm like, that doesn't look right, like, in Newfoundland. I'm like, who the... F-? like? People love their cars, man. Yeah. There's a lot of nice cars in the city. There is. Like, a lot. I seen one at CBS the other day, and I was like, what? It's very simple. When it's coming at you, was it, Lam- Lam- it Lam- almost looks like one of, the, one of the new Corvettes. The new Corvettes are nice, too. Yeah. No, it wasn't green. I forget what color it was now. But there's a blue one going around, too. Like a dark a blue one. There's yeah. a bunch of them now. It's oh, scary yeah. in Newfoundland, though, with potholes. Man, pulling up into some of the off some of the curbs here is horrible. Yeah. Like, I've driven a lot of those cars. Not here, but like I've driven in Florida or in Vegas. I wouldn't want to drive one around here. If someone gave me one, yeah. Yeah. Or if I could afford one, maybe. Imagine hitting a pothole in it, though. No, can't imagine. Can't imagine ruining a ten thousand dollar rim. Just can't do it. And then who knows? I'm, what bad, I'm bad enough on my own motorcycle riding around. I haven't even rode my bike all year. Yeah, because it's just the roads are horrible around here, and people are crack. Yeah, people are nuts around here. Um, this is totally off topic of what where we've been on, but I've, I've been meaning to bring it up, but we haven't we haven't stopped talking, <laughs> so it's all good. But um, getting back to like. Um, marijuana and stuff like that did you ever try mushrooms i did okay sweet so did you did you like do it like trip or like microdose i've tried microdosing microdosing um and i've also tried like a little bit more than that like yeah yeah like a gram or two yeah yeah 
What are your thoughts? Before I go into it. I was smoking dope at the same time. So yeah, but that actually accelerates it. Not in a good way, though. Well, it depends on who's around in your environment, I guess. Yeah. But, so, like, like, for anything me, that I've read, anything that I've read and, like, talk to people, like, that actually microdose on, like, hmm. a regular, I've like, been doing it for a while. Hmm. Apparently, weed does not help it. And you don't get that full effect of it. Oh, okay. That's why so, it's, like, uh, yeah. it's causing that, there's some type of effect. That yeah. that kid. So, I have tried it. It does, it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, like, my biggest issue is that I just continue wanting to do it. Well, I only got into microdosing probably a few months ago. And it was because, I, well, I don't know when it was now because I have no concept of time anymore because time just flies. So it could have been anywhere in the last six months. I can't remember exactly when. But I wasn't in a very good place at the time in my life. And... Like, I guess you could say I was depressed mm -hmm. and I was just like not happy or I don't, I don't even know why, but anyways, I start microdosing and, um, what brand do you take? I don't have a brand in particular. I like, I'll just buy it in bulk, say you buy it in bulk and do and it And then yourself. I'll just do it up myself. I'll make my own capsules. I don't buy like donut pills or whatever. No. And so, and again, this is just my experience. I'm not telling you to do mushrooms. I'm just saying. But, um, and everyone does it differently because everybody's got a different body and a different digestive system and all that. And I'm no master or doctor or anything. This is just my experience and what I do and what I've done. So people do like 0.15 or like a 0.1 or 2, whatever. And that's fine. But for me, I used to find that like a 0.3 or 0.2 wasn't enough. So I would do 0.4. Anywhere from a 0.4 to a 0.6, depending on the day. But I usually find 0.4, 0.5 is pretty good. And everyone has to do it differently. Like some people does like two days on, two days off, <clears throat> or like three, three and two or whatever. But like I was just at this point where I was like, I'm just going to experiment with it and do it basically every day and then stop because you get immune to it a bit. So if I took it one day and I stopped feeling it or feeling good or getting the effects out of it, I would say, okay, I need a day or two off and then I'll start again. So I'll kind of just listen to my body. Yeah. But I will say it changed my life to, it just certainly got me out of the little rut I was in. Mm -hmm. um, it's truly amazing how effective it is. And I'm only saying all this now because I want everyone to know this. I even told my mom and my sister, told my si like everyone's at, like, I'm telling them, I'm spreading it because mm. it's like so valuable. Um, and it's becoming very more mainstream and it's going to be, there's going to be shroom, um, uh, clinics here soon actually i've been talking to people about it so i actually might be doing some of their trials too so that's that's good but it'll change your whole outlook and perspective on life so whatever it is like when i was like feeling down and shit like i start doing it man and like instantly came around like it was nuts like i i start being more present and i didn't stress or worry about anything i was so present and living in the moment that it was impossible not to be happy yeah and I was super grateful for everything that was in my life. Yeah. Not worried about things that wasn't. Yeah. It's it's just it's 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 crazy. Well, I find that that's just another thing that we're coping with though. Like we're just taking something to cope with something. Yeah, I know, but getting to that, it's like Well, what's the alternative? Like you you like go to the doctor, tell them you're depressed and get antidepressants, right? That were that were pills. Yeah. Uh, but when it, but made it, in the lab. These are mushrooms that grew from the ground that has no chemical alterations done to it whatsoever. That we they say they don't though. There's, but it's like, a dried mushroom. I know, but I've tried those. I, I, I got, I've got, I've got a few mushrooms at the house. Like, yeah, I've got like teachers, golden teachers, yeah, yeah. and I've got uh, a couple other different like brands. But like microsybin, yeah, microsybin's actual like company that mushrooms yeah 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 i took that i microdosed that and it was great yeah i just don't think that it's like an everyday thing though like no i feel as if like if i take that it's going to become like you said you get that day it's like you're not there and then you gotta continue to take it so you're continue and continue and continue to add to it so like with mushrooms like for me i take adh medic i take adh me adhd medication yeah okay? and i take mushrooms it doesn't do the same effects to me because I take that medication. 
So I feel as if all this stuff is great, but you have to do it like what you did with a clear mind that like you're not taking anything else. You're just, it's just that. Yeah. And then it's fine. Yeah. But too many people now are like taking it. Man, anyone I've talked to that's taken mushrooms, like microdose mushrooms, a lot of people I talk to, it's just another coping mechanism. A coping them. mechanism. Coping mechanism for them. Well, it's a natural antidepressant. Uh, right. Is but, what it is. But so it's like, you know, you got to take some, if you're, if you're in that state, you got to, you do have to take something to, to make your. Without a doubt. But, to, but the thing is about that though, is I, uh, I haven't done it now in a, in a couple of weeks or so, cause I was sick a while ago and I just haven't done it since. Cause I was, I was sick. I wasn't doing it. And then I just haven't like took it since. And it's like, I'm not like craving it or I'm not like, Oh, I needs it. But like, I might just start it again now too. Cause it like, it, it like makes my quality of life better. Oh yeah. But, it's not a thing that you're like, oh, I need it, I need it, I need it. It's not like it's not addictive like that. No, it's just like you do it, and you're just like your day is just better. And well, it's like, what happens to them when the point in time comes that you can't get it no more? Well, I can't get mushrooms. Yeah, that'll never happen. I know that. Same thing as weed and everything else. There's a, there's a demand for it. There's a demand for it, hundred percent. But like mushrooms are you, something that like we don't even know enough about yet, though. Oh, I know, but these magic mushrooms, you like, you could. You can buy, you can just grow it yourself too if you want, right? Yeah, but like, I mean, like, I've tried a couple different mushrooms now, like golden teachers and then like the same gold teachers, and yeah. it's not the same. Like, no, no. It's totally different. So, yeah, so what do we know what we're buying? That's the problem. See, it's not marketed. Well, we're, that's we're, the we're thing. going off what everyone else is saying that they're growing. Yes. But so, they're again. saying it's natural, they're saying it's this, they're saying it's that. Is it though? Like, is it really that natural? Well, when it becomes legal and there becomes dispensaries, then you know. Oh, what? without a doubt. But until that, like, yeah. it's like marijuana. Same thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, they got marijuana out there now, man. It's like twenty eight percent, so they say. Yeah. I'm like sitting to myself, man. Twenty eight percent. Then you get this list, they're ninety nine percent. Yeah. I'm just sitting here like, that's a high percentage. Yeah. So like, same with it's mushrooms. Like the, vape, the vapes that I got. Mushrooms are going to come to that same point, too. I mean, I took 3.5 grams one night. Oh, 3.5 is like the perfect amount. For, I call it the self-discovery amount. You come over to my house tonight and take 3.5 grams what I got, and you will not say that. <laughs> I was fine. Yeah. I was great. Yeah. No, 3.5 is my that, magic number. That's your magic number? Did you ever do four? No. Don't. Well, you could, but... There's a big but again, it goes that it, everyone's different mushrooms too, right? But you would be shocked the difference from three point five to four makes. It's like this to this. So after that level, I've done a whole like research on this. I know I do three point five tonight. Read read on it, and at that level, like the difference in four and four point five is crazy. It's like, like hyper. Yeah, like even extra point five at yeah, that level, it get another too level. Much, too much. No, but well, four was fine. We didn't have a bad trip or nothing. But like at first, like we couldn't even couldn't even talk. We were just looking at each but other. Me and Steph but like we almost like understood each other. But me and Steph did it. She couldn't get up off the couch. I had to go put her to bed. And then I almost couldn't leave her because she was too panicked. Yeah. but it's, She had a bad trip though, I guess. Yeah, maybe. But I've never had a bad I've trip. I've only done that twice. But, but doing it like that is great because you learn a lot about yourself. Because you're, you kind of like have ego death. And you just truly look at your life in a way. What's that, the ego death? You kind of like, everyone is kind of like two people. So like your, your true self and your ego. Mm -hmm. So it's like what you want people to perceive you as. Yeah. But that's not really your true self. No. So when you do enough of it and you, you get rid of the shell and you really start you, you and your mind, you, 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 you you kind of look at your life and real like, like, why am I doing this? Like, this is not who I am. Like, and you, and it's a self discovery, mm -hmm. uh, trip, say like this whole salon exists because of mushrooms. Really? We had a conversation one night, she was in mud and doing it because she thought she had to, mm. to please her parents mm. and realized that like, wait a minute, like, what am I doing? I'm not doing this no more. Mm -hmm. This is not what I want. Right. So it's, it just makes you realize what you truly want in life yeah and just reset your brain yeah and to and like wait now 
Yeah. I only got one shot at this. Yeah, I'm pretty new on mushrooms, so like it's very it's yeah. wild. Yeah, you'll find out a lot about yourself and what you truly want in life, and then you'll go get it. Yeah, you 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 drop the bullshit. Yeah, you're one not my, you're not going to continue doing stuff that you don't want to do. One of the guys, Adam Pike, he's huge on it. Yeah, no, I'm actually going to try to get him on. Yeah, because I think Pike we'd have a great conversation. Pike, yeah. he's got a great. I don't know him well. I just know him <laughs> like from Big Brother. And, he's good, and, dude. Like, you know, he had lots of great conversations. Yeah, he's he's right into the microsiren. Yeah, so. The microsiren is his microdosing company. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because I was talking to him about it before. Yeah. But then I told him I, I, I was good after because I didn't want to, like, I was just make my own capsules. Either. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, but see, that's the thing. I've tried microsiren. Yeah. Didn't really do much for me. Again, but that's. That's, it, why, that's why I'm curious. That's, yeah, this okay. Is what so, me. see, okay. So, this because. That's what worries me because, again, there's so much out there. You go off so many different people's yeah. reviews and actions and everything. You got to experiment yourself. Yeah, like. But the thing is, with that, we had a conversation too because I was telling him I was doing like point five, and he said that it was too much. And I said, well, you know, like everybody's different. But he does like point one five or whatever those capsules are, yeah, or whatever, and that might actually help you a bit. That never, it never did much for me. But so. I personally didn't feel anything off it. No. So for me, I just increased the dose till I felt the perfect amount. Yeah. That wasn't too much, but enough to like still function and drive and go to the gym and work. Yeah, but just the, the, the sweet spot. Yeah, there's not, from, you're not. You're not. In, uh, you're not. I'm the, not tripping. I'm totally no, fine. Exactly. Like I, I was doing it here and going to the gym, driving. Like I was fine. Like yeah. I'm not. I'm to totally fine. But it's that little bit of euphoric feeling of it's an extra of push. Feeling grateful and present. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's just like no I get you yeah. it's, about, it's being present is what it is being present a lot of time you're around you're not present man like now is all you ever have yeah in five minutes now you're right. is right yeah past is past future's not here yet I've had a hard time lately letting go past like yeah I don't know so I think you'd benefit well yeah from it just not doing enough so maybe start on the weekend or whatever Start with a point two, point three, point four, and then just do it until you find that sweet yeah. spot. Some people is point three, point four. Because I already got capsule at the house now. Yeah, that I already done all. Yeah, man. All jokes aside, dude, if you're interested in uh, in trying that out, uh, I'll uh, tell you what worked for me. And uh, yeah, I'll give that a wheel. I got some at the it's house. It's definitely now. cool, man. Like it, like I said, I pretty much tells everyone about it because it changed my life. Yeah, and saved me. And I never had no negative effects whatsoever. I've got some at the house there now. I gotta see what doses there. are. Yeah, and like it's teachers, a, it's though. absolutely amazing. But it just makes everything better. What is the Golden Teachers? That one you're taking? To be honest with you, I don't even know what name it is. I yeah. just know it's magical. <laughs> but uh, love it, love it. But <laughs> it makes everything better. Like eating food is better. It's kind of like, I guess, it, like having to drive. Everything's a little bit better. It's like yeah, similar, yeah. but like different, right? Yeah, yeah. You're not like high. No, it's different. Like, it's different. You just appreciate. You're everything. high on life, is what it is. Yes. Yeah. You appreciate everything better. Like on a vacation or something, it is amazing. You're just, I call it blissed, right? Blissed. I'm just, yeah, I know, right? Pure, Pure bliss. bliss. But uh, uh, that's what I call it. Like, I got a friend and like, I'm like, you bliss today? Like, you know? Nice. And I got a couple people that does it now and they're, they loves it, man. There's, um, there's a bunch of different, like, I have some websites as a house that I, I could order them from. Yeah. I've oh, just, yeah. I've just never, like, I got a I got a great website. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, some, there's a bunch of different all kinds of there. different ones on it, right? But it, I just got to I have to look in. There's there's ones that are Sisa Vislin Sifo, Siso. I can't remember what it's called. It's with a P. It's like Golden Teachers, and this one. That's what I was trying to understand. It's different to them. It's different brand. There's different uh, names, and certain ones are uh, uh, stronger. Yeah. yeah. So like Golden Golden Teachers, teachers are, like, are the ones I used to always order. Yeah. But. Like I said, I don't even know what I got now. I just, I just know it's magical and it's doing what it needs to be done. So, you taking them now? I haven't. Like I said, I haven't took it now. It's the last few weeks. No, like a couple weeks ago, I took it a couple of days, and I probably had the last month off really. Besides a couple of days, I don't. I just, I've been just good lately, so I haven't really been thinking yeah. about doing it and just getting up and going to work. But I thought about it today. I'm like, man, I'm gonna start doing it again now and just like give myself. I'm gonna a little, give it a wheel, man. It's because I haven't. Uh... Going to the gym is better, right? Yeah. You're working out is better, feels better. Yes, more, yeah, what gym are you going to? Now? My muscle connection, uh, uh, zero. <laughs> no gym. You're going to the gym now? <laughs> we haven't been to the gym now in a few weeks because like, we've been sick. We fell off the wagon and we've just been busy. Busy. It's life, man. So, 
life takes over but uh yeah wait till you has a kid if you has a kid it's just crazy but uh, we had this conversation me and john having a kid is 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 amazing and you wouldn't change it for the world like once you has it one you're like holy shit you've never felt this way before yeah but it's time consuming like you know what i mean your life as you know it is is different right very but like it's so good it's like you wouldn't change it for the world like i love her to death i love my evenings playing with her man and lying down with her every night like it's it's just like a love that you've never experienced before and i I can't explain it to you yeah and you'll only understand when you have it yourself Mm -hmm. because people try to tell me too oh you won't love your dog the same way i'm like boy go on not even comparable loves my dog but it's just a different kind of love yeah and i don't know what it's like to have a son but my daughter it's just like she's daddy's girl and like man there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. Oh, I've seen you. You're, it's a true. I've seen you with the family. You're pretty. Uh, feeling of nothing in the world can compare to it. Yeah. Your daughter, like. I keep saying it with my huskies. I wait till you oh, get Oh, dude, wait. I probably have fur on me somewhere. Wait till you has yeah, a kid. Dude. If you has a kid, man, we'll have a chat after, and you're gonna be like, man. <laughs> I, I do. I do want kids, but I. Uh, this is a tough world, man. Dude, I know. And me and John said the same thing. You're never ready. No. We weren't ready. Still not ready. I, someone said that to me because I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to have kids. And they're like, you're never going to be You ready. just got to same just, dive just in and go for figure it, it out as you go, right? Literally. And so. I, uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I lived my 20s. Yeah. So if I had a kid now, I wouldn't be like, oh my. I know some people are like that, man. Yeah. I know a couple of people, a couple yeah. of friends of mine that have kids that are just like, I'm just like, what? what? I understand where they're coming from as in like, if you're not ready to have a kid and you got to change your life and you're not ready to stop partying and all that, like it's like, yeah, like they, they look at it as like, oh, my life is over, but, but your it's life not, is man, just starting. starting. Yeah. But I think that they don't know at the time, but in the next couple of years, they're going to realize. Probably. And then be like. I hope so. Oh yeah, they will do. Because I feel as if like like I know that if I had a child now, I'd be ready for a child in the mind sense of like financials, etc. Yeah. But you don't know if you're ready for it because like you gotta look and see. Oh, okay, now okay, here's the big boy pants. Like yes, now you gotta man. buy diapers. You gotta buy this. Buy diapers, buy that, not food. sleep. Oh my god, not sleep. I don't sleep now, so yeah. Well, my sleeping now though is like self inflicted. Yeah, I'm just so. continuing to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, then that won't be an adjustment for you then. It won't be if you're already used to not sleeping. But it'll be different, though, I think. It'll be different, yeah. I think it'll be but like man, everything is like... so much better because you relive your life through them. So, like, Christmas, yeah. birthdays. Like, you see their joy and excitement. I guess you get I and you feel it. to get to. Oh, this year for Christmas is going to be nuts. Because she, she's already watching Santa Claus movies, like the Christmas Chronicles. She's hooked. Yeah. She wants to watch yeah. Santa Claus and Reindeer. And I know this 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 Christmas is going to be. But that brings you some like. Because I'm a big Christmas guy too. Yeah, right? but that brings you back to re- life too, right? Oh my God, yes! Yeah. It makes me high. Yeah, I'm high on life right Good, now man. at the Good. moment, right? Good to see it. So, and at the end of the day, as long as I got my wife and my child, you know, I'm gonna roof over our heads, and they're happy. Like, that's it. I think a lot of people take that for advantage. Oh, they do. Like they don't realize how much they have in front of them. But that's the thing. The mushrooms brought me back to that because it's easy to slip away and I'm guilty of it too. You just start chasing things that you don't have and not realizing what you have in front yeah, of you. Yeah, and yeah. then you're never happy because you're chasing something that you don't have. And when you do have that, you're chasing something else. Yeah. But so it's a vicious circle of trying to get something that you don't have. I've been like that the past couple months. And then you're not happy. Yeah. But if you just stop for a second, look around you're happy. and appreciate what you got, you got a lot around you, you'll be happy. And when you actually feel that me to tell you and you're, thinking okay yeah cool but when you're actually like blissed and you're present and you're and you're laughing with your daughter or your dog and you're just in the moment and your phone is just on the table you're not looking talking to your daughter and on your phone at the same time trying to and you're fucking present dude yeah oh man it's it's wild it's (laughs) everybody needs it yeah when you can truly put your phone down and not give a fuck about it and actually be in the moment and soak it up you can like I, I I didn't experience it till I was on mushrooms. I, I I didn't microdosing is what made me feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and it's funny because we got to wrap this up soon. <laughs> but uh, it's funny because um, oh, we're we running out of time. 
Well, we've been, I'll get the thing. We'll have, no, we'll look, Jesus, we've been here two hours. Fucking two hours. We had. And uh, I feel like we're just getting started. So we'll have to do another one. We will. <laughs> but even going through home hardware. All we should do is do a mushrooms one. Yeah, we'll microdose and do it. 100%. Mm-hmm. It'd be great. Mm-hmm. Um, going through home hardware or like whatever store I'm in, if I'm just like walking down, like blissed, smiling, happy, I'm even talking to strangers or like people that work there. Like I know them, yeah. Because we're all one, we're all connected. But yeah. like when you're not like that, the average person looks away, looks away, or don't try to talk or interact because we're in this uncomfortable world of yeah. people getting used to just talking through phones and not Literally. actually in person. That's what, yeah, yeah. Social aspect of it is dying. I have a big, uh, I have a big social aspect. I you, you, like you, 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 I can talk good. And f- with yeah, people, yeah, yeah. But, but not a lot of people are like that. Not a lot of people are like that. But like when when you're microdosing. I feel like it's enhanced even more. Yeah, I'm. I'm just like talking to people. I'm like, oh, like you know, like have a great day, like yeah, or whatever. Also the gym. Right into it, right? Yeah, and yeah. it just makes. And then I, and then I'm like, I leave, and I'm more aware of it. I'm like, man, this is nice. Like just to be social you and made someone's talk. Yeah, yeah, like instead of just like looking at someone with, a, you know, grunty old face, not yeah. smiling or you know, <laughs> it's it it matters. Oh man, I tell you, you your know? facial expression matters bigly, big, big time. You like, can tell. You can tell when I, someone. Uh, well, it goes right back to AI and talking about like facial oh, recognition. Like, oh yeah, it's coming. Like oh yeah, how someone's sure they already, they already have that now. Oh yeah, they well, do. They you got go, fa- yeah, it's, you go into airports and stuff now. They yeah. can tell when you're nervous. They can tell like through your eyes. They can, it's wild. They, oh, that's scary. That is. Yeah, that's a whole different like topic. That is, it's, yeah. it's nuts. I know. I will try to market this. No, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, when I did it, man, I was just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. I took it seriously. Yeah, exactly. I took it seriously, and like I said, you can do what you want. Experiment two days or one on one or two, yeah. three and three. Yeah. I like I said, just done it till I didn't feel it, and then I took a break and then done it again because it's a great feeling. Yeah, and it's not like the days that you don't do it. You're like I'm fiending, like I'm no, just, but it's like you are like you feel different you, though. You're fine. You got to feel different. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to feel something like a. Uh, you gotta want that level again. Yeah, that's, like you do want it. You're like, yeah. tomorrow's gonna be great. Tomorrow, Tomor- tom- and like tomorrow, is, and that that specific day is still good because like you had a great week already. But because tomorrow's even better. Yes, because once you realize how much better it makes your life, you're present. Then you're more present. Imagine then. you don't, you don't, don't have to realize that. You don't have to wake up every morning and be like, oh. Yeah. A lot. A lot of people do. I do that, man. Yes, dude. There's many times I wake up in yes. the morning. And I'm just like, oh. yes, man. I don't even look at my phone today. Yeah, I know. I hate that. But anyway, I think uh, this was a banger as well. This we'll was a great to. episode. But I think, I think we're like two hours in now. Oh, we're definitely two hours in. Uh, roughly. <laughs> and um, oh, my God. This is going to be a long one. So. We can chat. We can chat for like. We oh, def- dude, we could sit down here for that's a day. That's why I say like when we go to the gym and stuff, it would be fucking hilarious. To yes, have man. Because like. This is conversational. It's every day anyway. This is an everyday conversation. If we could do this for two hours a day. We'd be quite content. Yes. We would. No trouble to sit here for another couple hours. I would. Oh, <laughs> it's just way too long. I got to pee, though. Yeah, I got to pee, too. But anyways, thanks for coming on, dude. Thanks Don't for forget me, to like, subscribe, comment, share. You know all, you know the drill. Tell your mother. Tell your father. <laughs> tell all the boys. Tell the boys. <laughs> share it around. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks, buddy.